I truly feel that it's part of my DNA. Like something would be genuinely missing from my life if I wasn't playing and performing music. It's an integral part of who I am and it always has been. I tried, I did. But if you're not willing to forgive my flaws, I'll carry on and I won't fall again. It's just something that I always, I always loved. I always wanted to sing and I, I really started to push towards it, you know, when I was around, when I got to about 20 years old, when I decided I needed to take vocal lessons and learn some different techniques. My teacher, uh, Randy Schaefer, was, uh, he was the one responsible for just throwing me on stage, basically. I had done vocal lessons and some Qantas Music Festival uh, performances and I, I'd known him for a while, but we got talking and he was looking for a front woman of his, uh, in his band. Next thing I know, a week later, I was singing a couple songs at the old Tunnin Groove. And then a month after that, I had my own show, two 45 minute sets and a band opening up. And that was my first show really. And it was terrifying. <laughs> but after that night, like being up there and feeling the energy from the crowd, I just, you know, I said, wow, I've never felt anything like this, like the energy it gives you. How do you leave someone you've known so long? Oh, trip I made. But if there's you to light the way, I'll pass these obstacles with ease and I won't turn back. How do you leave someone so cold hearted? You know, I'm standing in your dust and I'm feeling like this is all gone wrong. I wrote my first song, I think I was around 17. I had a knack for it, but I think I, I thought when I went to these vocal lessons, I thought I could only sing in lower, like lower places where I learned to stretch my range and I learned proper breathing and I learned, yeah, just how, how to, a lot of techniques that I've, I've kept with me forever. I mean, back in those days, I had a tape cassette <laughs> in my room and I was like playing my tape cassette, practicing my E's and O's and A's. The energy you feel when the crowd's enjoying themselves and you are and there's this wonderful feeling in the room like it's just it's, it's undescribable it's just something that I knew I was addicted to the very first time like that's what I told my family I told that to my bandmates I just said wow I'm I'm gonna do this like forever feel take care of your mind your soul your body and times with it shall be concealed a state of mind, state of mind, stay young at heart, my dear. And at the end of all your days, you'll look back and say, damn, those were great years. My biggest supporters are definitely my mom and dad, Maria and Alan. They come to every show. My auntie Evelyn, uh, my cousin Tanya, and my uncle Colin. They're always very, very supportive. And yeah, always there. <laughs>